Hello and welcome to Ugly As Is, I'm VM, as usual your guardian angel. Ladies, in today's show, why your date is pulling away. What makes a guy not to take you serious? How you evaluate yourself when dating. Top critical mistakes women make when dating. Let's go. Okay girl, listen here, I will share with you the top critical mistakes that women make when dating only under one condition. That you promise to do your best not to make them under any circumstances. Promise? Pinky promise? Alrighty then. Now obviously I will not list every mistake, but rather those which in my opinion are the most critical ones. Don't be lazy or selfish and write in the comment section what I should have included. And since your mouse pointer or finger is closed, so hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So you're on a dating spree, dates are scheduled weeks ahead. I don't really care about those guys that don't impress you much but I do care about the one that you call the special one the one who made you stun the one who intrigues you in your imagination the one with whom all of you go oh and ah uh. hold me I'm gonna rip off his clothes and pants Brr, stop 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 Houston to challenger if you want to land this dating into a relationship you need your gear otherwise you will crash it all into the ground first thing we need to agree on and I'm sorry to be a party pooper but you need to breathe in breathe out I know that you're much excited but we need you in control to make sure that in every situation that you face with him you make right calls being too excited has two damaging effects first as we said you lose your self-control second you might send a message to the guy too early that he got you and no longer his hard efforts are required as if he thinks to himself my charms on such a level that no matter what I do or don't this little woman will applaud oh no 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 my friend the guy should work and work so hard he must until you feel he proved himself by actions to the point that he deserves the gift of you and your full attention no I know you thing I'm telling you to play the game of hard to get. Wrong. 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 You should not be cold or closed. The guy should know when his efforts are successful, but that is only on your terms. Don't forget a real man is not afraid of a challenge storm, which makes him like, appreciate you more. And when you're calm and your emotions under your control, you're able to avoid another fundamental mistake that women make. That is living in a dream and glorifying him. The reason I call it fundamental is because it leads to other smaller consequences, each of which can become a cause for dating failure. One, you may trap your mind to misrepresent your dating partner's worth. For example, on a date, his behavior may present an alarming trait that should make you notice and focus your attention on. Let's say he literally explicitly just flirted with that waitress. Did it just happen? But if you and your excited mind have been glorifying our guy, you may begin to let such a thing just pass. As if telling to yourself, it's okay, he meant no harm. He was just so polite. For real? On the other hand, this emotional sweet curtain may play an unfair game towards the guy. If you glorify the guy, you may picture him as the best of nights, as if without flaws. And then a little tiny thing can happen. A word he said was not in place and this, even if a not intended slip, may shatter the entire image that you've created in your head. This may lead you to be a judging monster, prosecutor who sends a guy who didn't mean no harm straight to the gallows and the end. To be fair towards yourself, him and the possible big future, you must be realistic, fair. You must evaluate him according to your values, tastes and the real expectations that you have from the one you want to call my man. And remember, you are not a character in a Hollywood blockbuster. And another terrible mistake that women make when dating is to give in to the fear of a failure. I understand that you really like and want the man and the last thing that you want for it to end. But this attitude of yours holds you back from what you really want with its big claws. First, you apply the law of attraction that you believe in if you do against yourself. Second, the sphere only deepens and when it does, you react with irrational preventive acts. This includes giving him too much too fast, dancing to the rhythm of his mesmerizing flute. He calls you to meet up, you run, no matter what, no matter where. You may also push yourself aside, your wants and needs to the backstage you let them slide his capricious wishes, you abide. To prevent yourself from this, you must implement a number of these things. 1. Refresh that I like him and I want him much to something like I want myself to be happy, satisfied. And this man, so far, seems like someone who can make this happen. And keep the jury out until he proves this thesis right. 2. Put yourself in the center and control the pace in any matter. 3. Be expressive with the boundaries that you have set for yourself and him to self-protect. And since boundaries we've mentioned, I've made a video discussing this topic. Topic. I will put the link in the description below. And last critical mistake you should prevent yourself from making is... Jumping into the bed with him too fast. The end, you're such a caveman. Eww. Girls, it is not a philosophical nor ethical debate. I don't care, it's 21st century at all. It is a question of simple science fact 
that you should learn from to manipulate. It may seem for you somewhat boring, but listen, it is worth your time. The thing is, when you guys are dating and having a romantic blast, your bodies release a hormone known as dopamine, bringing in the pleasure feeling from your time together. With the increase of dopamine, oxytocin is going up, a hormone known as cuddling or bonding hormone that makes you both attached to one another. Together with these hormones, your man's body generates more of testosterone and vasopressin. Vasopressin hormone is associated with monogamy. And here's the catch, sex and orgasm have different effects for each of you. For you, my dear girl, sexual activity boosts the level of oxytocin, making you attached for him much more. But for him, the same activity has an opposite effect. Sex and orgasm block and lower the vasopressin levels. Remember, the monogamy concept vanishes from what he wants. The second negative effect is that sex increases his levels of testosterone, which in its turn blocks and lowers the bonding hormone aka oxytocin. In other words, your body after sex will tell you be with him, but his body will tell him your job with her is done. Now move on and get yourself another. Therefore, to give his body time to build a stronger bond and to get attached to you, postpone the rush of sex for a month or two or three. And when you feel he is committed despite of waiting for the lust, then undress and get yourself submitted to the life of love and trust. Now remember that you promised me in the beginning of the video not to make these mistakes ever. And also you promised me to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This was VM. See ya!